might be possible that some of you have already used what if analysis features so what if analysis is available in the data tab and when you click on data tab you will be seeing what if analysis feature which consists of three wonderful features uh, called scenario manager goal seek and data table and one by one i will try to explain from very basic that how we can utilize these what if analysis features in our reports or models so first let me quickly uh, introduce that what if analysis is all about so what if analysis is basically involves asking questions of the type like uh, what if value changes and we, we can use this every day by those uh, professionals or the students who are involved in data analysis and the decision making something like what will our profit be if our sales increase or what will be the future value of an investment but if we uh, be if we increase the annual deposits so these are some of the common examples of what if questions and the flexible nature of uh, spreadsheets make them ideal for carrying out what if analysis and excel provides a number of tools to simplify the process of dynamic models so uh, i have seen a lot of professionals of mainly from the finance background or some other backgrounds they use what if analysis day in day out in their the models so we will be starting first with the goal seek and uh, if you are not familiar with the goal seek let me introduce what the goal seek is all about goal seek if you have already know uh, the result you require if you if you know the what kind of a result you require and want to determine the value that will achieve this result you can use a goal seek feature so when setting up a worksheet to use a goal seek you need to have a formula in one side uh, and i will explain you with these two examples right on your screen as you can see so we need a formula in one cell and the variable for the formula whose value we want to find right in in other cells so you have uh, other variables no formula but the goal seek can manipulate one variable so that at a time others will remain the constant and uh, let's begin with uh, the examples first okay so i have two examples the first one is uh, for example we we are getting a loan of 1 lakh rupees and the interest rate is 12% and the time period is in years which is 5 years so first we need to drive a monthly payment that how much we will be paid to a bank in order to return the loan which we are acquiring today as a present value of 1 lakh rupees so for getting the monthly payments by an excel function we can use the pmt function which is which returns the monthly payments so this means that if you can look at the function syntax and the arguments of this function the date should be monthly basis the number of periods should be monthly basis because the pmt function derives the monthly payments not the quarterly or the yearly so if we have the annual rate or the annual time period we need to convert into a monthly right so for the rate i have the cell which is called b4 i will divide it by 12 because i need to make sure that this rate is on a monthly basis next function argument is the number of periods we have so we have 5 years all together and i want to convert it into a monthly basis so i will be multiplying it by 12 and last but not the least the present value the present value is the loan amount which is which we are taking today from a bank okay and when i close this bracket i will get the monthly payment information that i need to pay 2224 rupees every month to make sure that in the next 5 years with the interest of 12% i can repay the loan of 1 lakh rupees so this is a simple function to drive the monthly payments it's a financial function okay but how the goal seek comes in let me tell you one one by one so we find out that uh, if we take 1 lakh rupees 12% for the 5 years we need to pay 2224 right but a condition is that we can't pay 2224 uh we can pay let suppose 1500 as a monthly payment so we we know what is our goal we know the answer first but we don't know how many times i will change the loan amount to get the monthly payment to 1500 exactly so i try to do the some guesses on the data like i will change the loan amount and it shrinks down to the 2000 further i will decrease the loan amount it further goes to the 1700 but at this point of time i am not sure 
I I know my goal, which is fifteen hundred. Okay, I know my goal, which is fifteen hundred, but I don't know how many steps would it require to get to that goal. So goal seeks come handy, and we can quickly within seconds find out the Hello. answer uh, yes, with the certain variables. Okay, so there is some trouble, audio issue. Uh, okay, so the attendees who who have receiving my voice very clear, kindly write yes in the chat window so that the the participants who are not getting the voice can uh, look at at their end. So we have uh, the response in the chat window, uh, and many of the participants are saying yes. This means that my voice is clear. Kindly check your internet connection at your end and reset or rejoin the webinar. Thank you. So let me quickly jump to the session again. So now what our goal was to make the monthly payments to the 1500, right? And we don't know the steps to reduce the loan amount. So what we can do is our, we will go and uh, take help from the what if analysis goal seek feature. So I will click on goal seek feature and there are, this is very simple. Try to understand it. We have three fields. Number one field is the set sale. Okay, so we need to set the sell of a monthly payment, which is in B6, to negative 1500. Why negative 1500? Because it's a cash outflow. So whenever cash is going, uh, it's it's shown in the negative, right? So it's a cash outflow. We need to set B6 to minus 1500 by changing cell. So we will define which variable we need to change. So we are more interested to change the loan amount uh, to set the goal to 1500 as a monthly payment. So when I press OK, so you can see that within few seconds, I got my new loan amount, which is 67,433. If I pay 1500 as a monthly payment, right? For example, if you pay more, for example, if you can pay 3000 as your monthly payment, and you want to know that how much loan you can acquire from a bank. So you can also do this by a goal seek. Same method. We will go to what if analysis, click on goal seek. Now we need to set the value to 3000 and we will pick a variable, which is the loan amount. And in our case, the cell is B3. So very quickly, it gives us the accurate amount, which is 1,34,865 so that we can pay monthly payment as a 3000 for next five years 12 uh, percent interest okay so this was first example of the goal seek in that in in this situation we know our goal but we don't know how many guesses we have to make that's why we use this what if analysis goal seek example number two so now in the example number two we have a quantity of books which is 150 we have 150 books uh selling price definitely we want to sell this these books so the selling price is 200 Cost is 140 per unit, and we need to calculate profit first. So calculating a profit is not a big deal. It's a simple mathematical equation. We need to uh, first sum up the selling price and then minus the costing of all the books. So let me write a formula here. So what I will do, I will select the selling price, which is 200 F4, multiplying it with the books quantity. Okay, and then minus with the cost. The cost of per unit is 140, which is an F5, and multiplying it with the quantity of box. So I will get the profit of 9,000. So after selling 150 books at a unit price of 200, I can get a profit of 9,000. Now I think that the profit is very less, I, and I need to increase the profit. So my goal is that I need a profit of 13,000. So in this case, we know our goal, but we don't know that how many guesses we need to make sure that we need to change our variable, which is the selling price. So we will take the help of goal seek here. So what we will do, we will go to the what if analysis, goal seek, and uh, we need to set sell F6 to the value, which is 13,000, which is the goal we have identified. And we will pick a cell as a variable by changing it. So we will pick a sell price of per unit. And you can see that if we sell the book in 226 rupees, so we can get ultimately a profit of 13,000, right? So this is how you can use the goal seek in your reports or a kind of a situation where you 
when you know your target, but you don't know how many guesses you need to perform on one variable. 